Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning, classmates. Uh, this is our report, Chapter 1 of Nature, Terms, and History of Rhythmic Dance. Lesson 1, History of Dance in the Philippines. So the introduction is, the history of dance is difficult to access because dance does not often leave behind clearly identifi identifiable artifacts. So... Ang history of dance is mahirap daw ma-access kasi hindi ito madalas nag-iiwan ng mga klaro or mga di nakikilalang artifacts. So dance has been as important as as important part of ceremony, rituals, celebrations and entertainment since before the birth of the earliest human civilizations. Historically, the majority of Philippine dances derived from popular European dances during the time of the Spanish regime. The Filipinos express their dan their dances, movements, and impersonating creatures and doing daily work. So, de definition for better understanding of the discussion that follow that follow the following terms are here under defined. So, this is just the definitions of the keywords ng lesson po namin. Very self-explanatory na po siya. So, ibasa ko na lang po siya for you. So rhythm is a measured motion or flow characterized basically by re recurrence of elements or features as beats, sounds, or accents. Rhythms denote an aspect of quality of movement, which is sometimes thought as dance. Structured forms which start creative rhythmic movements are sometimes called rhythm. Dancing naman is a means of expressing one's emotions through movement disciplined by rhythm. It is an act of moving rhythmically and expressively to an accompaniment. The word dancing originated from the German word danson, which means to stretch. All dancing is basically made up of stretching and relaxing movements. Dance is a series of movements set to, set to music where there emerge organization structure and pattern. Rhythmic activities movements using the body as means of expressing a communication can be either being through fundamental rhythms using locomotor or axial movements or in higher form of dance. World history of dance. Primitive dance. It is a social dances on occasions that celebrate birth, commemorate the deaths, and mark special events in between. Magical dances to ask gods to end famine, to provide drain or to cure sick. Primitive dancers also shared certain gestures and movements which were drawn from their everyday lives. Primitive dancers use all of these movements in both their social and religious or magical dances. These were not created for entertainment as many dances today. So, ang primitive dance ay isang social dances on occasions na celebrate ng kapanganakan commemorate the deaths. Ang ibig sabihin ng commemorated ay to recall and to show respect. So, sumasayaw sila sa isang okasyon to celebrate ang kapanganakan and sumasayaw din sila to show to show respect and to recall ang mga namayapan nilang mahal sa buhay. Magical dances to ask gods and famine. Famines means extreme shortage of food. And ang mga primitive dancers ay may certain gestures and movements na nagpapakita ng kanilang pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. And also, they use their movements in both their social and religious or magical dances. And that is the primitive dance. Next is ancient Egypt. Far more than mere pastime, Dancing became an integral part of Egyptian life. It evolved from the simplest rituals used by the hunters to find their prey. A leader was called a prize dancer and was responsible for seeing that the dances were performed correctly so that the hunt would be successful. So, sa ancient Egypt, ang kanilang sayaw ay hindi libangan lamang. Ang sayaw para sa kanila ay naging mahalaga at naging parte na ito ng kanilang pamumuhay. It evolved only from the simplest rituals na ginagamit ng mga hunters to find their prey. And ang kanilang leader ay tinatawag nilang prize dancer. At siya rin ang responsable sa pagtatama ng mga dances para ang kanilang paghahunting ay maging successful. The next one is ancient peace. 
Participation in dance and drama festivals was a religious exercise, not merely an amusement. Greek dance can be divided into large and small motions. It is a movement and gestures. Movements were closely related to gymnastic exercise that resembled dance. So para sa ancient Greece, ang partisipasyon nila sa isang sayaw at sa drama sa isang festival ay isang religious exercise at hindi isang katuwaan lamang. Ang Greek dance ay mahahati ito sa large and small motions at ito ay ang movements and gestures. Ang movements ay related sa gymnastic exercise na nag-resembled ng isang sayaw. The Roman Empire Under the reign of Caesar Augustus in about 22 BC, the pantomime dance drama became an independent form of artistic expression. The Roman pantomime, a highly developed art form that made lavish and creative use of dance. Ang ibig sabihin ng pantomime ay isang dramatic entertainment originating in Roman mime in which performs express meaning through gestures accompanied by music. Christian era. Dance was performed on cathedral porches, church squares, and marketplaces. Miracle place, mystery place, and morality place. That thus, the church lessons were enacted in a theatrical way. In dramatic ritual games with dance movement, the passing of the seasons was celebrated as it had been by primitive tribes. Evolution of Dance in the Philippines So next is primitive era to early Filipinos. Dance was an expression of community life that animates the various rituals and ceremonies. Ethnic dances were found among the ethnic linguistic groups scattered all over the Philippine islands who have not been substantially westernized either by Spain or the United States. So, example of these ethnic tribes are the Ibaloy, Kankanal, Ifugao, Kalinga, Apayao, and Bontoks. These tribes share common religious beliefs, generally animistic, and make offerings to household gods called Anitos in the course of which dancing occurs. Sa primitive era, para sa mga unang Pilipino, ang sayaw ay isang nagpapahayag ng buhay sa komunidad. Ito rin na nagbibigay buhay sa iba't ibang ritual at seremonya. So ang halimbawa ng mga etnikong tribo ay mga Ibaloy, Kankanal, Ifugao, Kalinga, Apayao at Bontogs. So ang mga sayaw na etniko ay matatagpuan sa mga etno linguistic na mga grupo na nakakalat sa buong Philippine Island. Ang mga tribong ito ay nagbabahagi ng mga karaniwang paniniwala sa relihiyon, sa pangkalahatan ay animistic at nagaalay sa mga diyos ng sambahayan na tinatawag na anitos. Kung saan ginaganap ang pagsasayaw. First is ritual dances are dances which connect the material world to the spiritual. Rituals sustain the spiritual and social life of the indigenous Filipinos, the babaylan or medicine men of primitive cultures whose powers to invoke the assistance of a god were feared and respected were considered by many to be the first choreographers or composers of formal dances. Ito ang ritual na nagpapanatili sa espiritual at panlipunang buhay ng mga katutubong Pilipino. Katulad nito ang babaylan o mga tagagamot ng primitive na kultura na ang kanilang kapangyarihan ay kanilang hinihingyan ng tulong o tinatawag nilang itong Diyos. Ito ay kanilang kinatatakutan at ginagalang. Second is life cycle dances. Are dances which celebrate an individual's birth, baptism, courtship, wedding, and demise. Third, occupational dances. Are dances which transform defense and livelihood activities to celebratory performances. Fourth is mimetic dances, are special dances which are mimetic nature, 
the surrounding animal life is also easily lends itself to limited dances that are both graphic and symbolic. The primitive dances of the Filipino people draw their inspiration from the different images around them and religious and social activities of the tribe, which are communal purpose. They may also have learned many of their dance movements and patterns from the birds and animals around them. Thank you! The Spanish Colonial Period The Spaniards came to the Philippines on March 16, 1521 and colonized the island for 333 years to make Catholicism appealing. Native dances were modified and used in the rites celebrating Christian holidays and religious festivals, turned native to a certain extent and become a vehicle for the Filipino way of spiritual and communal expression. Dances like Fandango, Habanera, Rigodon, Mazurka, Paseo, Pasotoble were adapted to the taste and needs of the society and condition of climate and seasons in tropical archipelago. However, the Spaniards did not teach the native air dances. The wealthy and just Filipinos who, on state occasion, socialized with the colonial masters merely copied and disseminated these dances among themselves. The American Colonial Period On December 10, 1898, in Treaty of Paris, Spain sold Philippines to the United States for $20 million. The Americans established schools all over the islands where physical education was given a prominent place in the program. The American teachers also introduced dances like ballet and modern dance through physical education programs. Folk dance. A folk dance is a dance developed by the people that reflect the life of the people of a certain country or region. Not all ethnic dances are folk dance. For example, ritual dances or dances of a ritual origin are not considered to be folk dances. Twelve dances are called religious dances because of their purpose. The term ethnic and traditional are used when it is required to emphasize the cultural roots of the dance. In this sense, nearly all folk dances are ethnic ones. If some dances such as polka cross ethnic boundaries and even cross the boundary between folk and the ballroom dance, ethnic differences are often considerable enough to mention. Folk dance shares some of all the following attributes. Dances are usually held at folk dance gatherings or social function by people with little or no professional training, often to traditional music. Execution dominated by an inherited traditional from various international culture rather than innovation through folk traditions changed over time. New dancers often learn informally by observing others or receiving help from others. There are a number of modern dances such as hip-hop dance that evolved spontaneously but the term folk dance is generally not applied to them. The term street dance or vernacular dance are used instead. The term folk dance is reserved for dances which are to significant degree bound by tradition and originated in the times when the distinction exists between the dances of common folk and the dances of modern ballroom dance originated from folk one. Good day once again everyone, I'm Krisa May Hersita and I'll be the reporter who will continue the discussion in Lesson 1 which is entitled The History of Dance in the Philippines. So my report will basically revolve around uh, different contributors to Philippine folk dance. So without further ado, let's start! The previous reporter discussed that a folk dance is a dance developed by people that reflect the life of the people of a certain country or region. Local dances in modern time are now performed and appreciated beyond their province of origin. So, what does that mean? If we browse around the internet, which I know everyone does, we will notice that folk dances are now performed on different stages, whether it be on local or international stage. Some of the Philippine folk dances are even featured in international expos, different TV shows or programs, and different competitions. A big help in making these folk dances popular are through the works of five Filipinos who research on these dances. 
introduced innovations and made well-applauded dance performances out of them. Their contribution popularized as well as revolutionized Philippine folk dance, alleviating them into dance theater, performed elegantly by various dance troops in different stages, locally and internationally. These Filipinos have been conferred with the highest award of creative artistry in the Philippines, the National Artist Award, namely Francisca Reyes Aquino in year 1973, Leonor Orsa Gokinko in year 1976, Lucrecia Ortula in year 1988, Ramon Obusan in year 2006, and lastly, Alice Reyes in year 2014. So, these outstanding Filipinos had greatly influenced the traditional dance history with their works. Now, let us start knowing these people, starting with Francesca Reyes Aquino. Francesca Reyes Aquino is known as the mother of Philippine folk dance. She was born in Bocawe, Bulacan on March 9, 1899, and was considered as the country's pioneer researcher on traditional Philippine folk dances and music. What do you mean by saying she's the country's pioneer researcher? It means she is the first Filipino who studied this field, which is the traditional Philippine folk dances and music. She obtained her Bachelor of Science in Education degree in year 1924, as well as her Master's of Art degree in year 1926 at the University of the Philippines. She also presented four folk dances, which are the Cariñosa, Abaruray, Salabat, and Ariwana, as her dissertation piece in her Master's degree in Physical Education. In year 1927, Dr. George Bukabo, the current UP president at that time, sent Aquino to the province to conduct a research about folk dances and songs. So, where are these provinces located? According to my research, it is located in central and northern Luzon. Every summer, she would go to the remote barrios in the province to gather her materials for her research. She then studied the dance steps and movements, recorded folk musics, and she also took some pictures. Through her research, Aquino was able to gather about 50 basic steps and 200 folk dances on various movements and color. Apparently, all of her research works were turned into a thesis entitled Philippine Folk Dances and Games, which has been useful for the present educational resources. Aside from doing research, Aquino is also the author of numerous articles and academic books on folk dances. In total, she authored seven books which are Philippine Folk Dances and Games, Philippine National Dances, Gymnastic for Girls, Fundamental Dance Steps and Music, Foreign Folk Dances, Dances of All Occasion, and lastly, Playground Demonstration. For the great effort in researching and popularizing Filipino folk dances, Francisca received many awards, such as an honorary Doctor of Science and Physical Education degree from Boston University in year 1949. The most notable of the awards given to her are the Republic Award of Merit in year 1954 which is the Republic of the Philippines Award of Marriott for Outstanding Contribution Towards the Advancement of Filipino Culture by President Ramon Magsaysay. The Ramon Magsaysay Award for Government Service in year 1963 and the National Artist of the Philippines Award in year 1973, which is the first conferment in the category of dance. This award, the Philippine Award in 1973, is the highest honor any Filipino artist could hope for. And an additional fact, Francesca Reyes Aquino died on November 21, 1983. This is the end of my report. I hope everyone learned something from my discussion. Thank you for listening and once again, good day. Leonor Orosa Gokwenko 
Leonor Arosa Gokwenko is the second National Artist Awardee for Dance after Reyes Aquino. She is born in Hulu Sulu, the young Orosa immersed in learning and training herself in artistic pursuits, specifically in ballet. She went to Columbia University and Teachers College in New York where she took up courses in theater, craft, drama, and music. And her birthday is July 24, 1917 and she died on July 15, 2005. She graduated summa cum laude with a degree of Bachelor of Science and Education, major in English Literature. Her pen name is Christine Luna and she was known as Trailblazer, Mother of Philippine Theater Dance, and Dean of Filipino Performing Arts Critics. And one of her talent is she play piano, drew art, designed scenery, and costumes, sculpted, acted, danced, and choreographed. The year 1939, Orosa made a mark in Philippine dance by being the only dance representative sent to the first cultural mission in Japan. She also produced two ballet productions that same year, Circling the Globe and Dance Panorama. Circling the Globe was produced in 1939, same as Dance Panorama. This was followed by another dance production, The Elements, staged in 1940. She was the first ballet choreographed by a Filipino to commission music and sports featuring cheerleaders, tennis match, and a basketball game. Leonor was married to Benjamin Coquenco Orosa founded Philippine Ballet and Filipinescas Dance Company in 1958, where she choreographed numerous dance productions using her own storylines and showed them in their numerous, numerous tours abroad. Leonor and Benjamin have three children, who, two of whom, Rachel and Regina, are both the dancers. She broke traditions and barriers by featuring Philippine colors in ballet production such as a Muslim royal wedding, festival in Maguindanao, local legends of the first man and woman, Aeon's Ago, the creation, rice planting sequence, and tinikling, the bird and the planters, sent Desizing ballet with Philippine folk dance, she used indigenous costume and many of her choreographs. The creative by Orosa Gokwenko and all her dance production highlighted the beauty of local dances which helped revolutionize Philippine folk dance. For this, she was awarded a National Artist for Creative Dance in 1976. And not just one award, but six awards Orosa got in her life. Leonor Orosa has already a lot of achievements in life. She awarded the Patnubay ng Sining at Kalinangan Award in 1969 and 1964. Rizal Centennial Award in 1962. Republic Cultural Heritage Award in 1964. The Presidential Award of Merit in 1970, Tandang Sora Award and the Columbia University Alumni Association Award in 1975, and the last is the National Artist for Dance on March 27, 1976. Lucretia Reyes Ortula. Lucretia Reyes Ortula, 1929-1999, was born in Iloilo, Tuluyon, as Reyes, Philippine Constabulary Colonel, and Antonia Faustino Anais. She studied in Philippine Women's University, or PWU, where she finished her education major in physical education. Inspired by the works done by Francisca Reyes Aquino, she also taught in PWU, where she pursued and continued her passion in Philippine folk dances, both as researchers, dancers, director, and curators. 
Ayon dito, noong 1929-1999, si Lucrecia Reyes Ortula ay ipinanganak sa Iloilo, Kinalayon, S. Reyes, in the Philippine Constabulary Colonel at Antonia Faustino na isang nurse. Nag-aaral siya sa Philippine University Women's na kung saan nagtapos siya sa kanyang pag-aaral bilang major in physical education. Dahil sa inspirasyon ng mga ginawa ni Francisca Reyes Aquino, naisip din niya sa PA PWU na kung saan ipinapatuloy niya ang kanyang hilig sa mga katutubong sayaw. Kabilang dito ay ang mga kapwa bilang researcher, dance director at choreographer. She used the storylines of many local epics and legends as stems of many of her works. Among her most notable choreograph works include Singal, which was based on Maranao epic, Vinta, a dance that highlighted the greatness of Filipinos as sailors, the Gabili, a story of conflict among the different local groups, Pagdiwatao, which featured the four-day harvest festival, and Salitzil, showcasing a mountain reading dance in Sounds of Wings, originally used the many stories and legends about Filipinos birds and adapted them into a dance performance. For her creative works in further modernizing Philippines folk dance, Rio Sartola was awarded National Artist for Dance in 19... Ayon do dito, ginambit niya ang mga linya ng kwento para sa malaming lokal na epiko at alamat bilang tema ng kanyang mga gawa. Kabilang sa kanyang pinakakilalang mga likhang choreography, ang singkel na batay sa mayan ng epic, Vinta, nagpatingkad sa kadakilaan ng Pilipino bilang manderagat, or tagabili. Ito ay isang kwento ng tanggaloy ng iba't ibang lokal ng grupo. Pagdiwata na, ito ay ang apat na araw na padiriwa ng ani. Sa lidsid, ito ay ng sayaw ng kasal sa bundok. And sa Sound of Wings, ito ay ginamit ni Ortola sa maraming kwento at alamat tungkol sa mga ibon sa Pilipinas at inangkop ng mga pagtatanghalang sayaw. Para sa kanyang malikhaing gawa sa higit na modernasyon ng katutubong sayaw ng Pilipinas, si Ortola ay ginawalan daw ng pambansang alagad ng sining para sa sayaw noong 1980. Ramon Ubusan, when you talk about dance, you just don't talk about dance. You talk music, costumes, beliefs, traditions, Purpose and Occupation Dance is the brightest jewel in the crown of national heritage said by Ramon Arivalo Obusa noong 1938-2006. In the 2006 National Artist for Dance, the article entitled The Old Man Scholar in the official webpage of the Ramon Obusan Folkloric Foundation or Inc. ROFG encapsulate Obusan's journey as choreographer, artistic director, and scholar of dance. Ayon daw dito, Kapag ikaw daw ay nasasalita tungkol sa sayaw, hindi mo na ito pinag-uusapan ng sayaw. Ikaw daw ay nasasalita ng musika, kasuutan, painiwala, tradisyon, layunin at trabaho. Ang sayaw doon na pinakamaliwanag na hiyas sa kolon ng pambansang pamanas ayon kay Ramon Arivalanu. Arivalo Obusan o 1938-2006 Ang 2006 The National Artist of Dance Ito ay ang artikulo na pinapanggatang The Old Man Scholar sa official website ng Ramon Obusan Folkloric Foundation or Inc. Ito daw ay sumasaklaw sa paglalakbay ni Ramon bilang isang choreography architectic director at isang scholar ng Obusan was the eldest in the 15th board of Parasadics Obusan. A doctor and Josefina Arevalo, a music teacher, he took up marine biology in the University of the Philippines as his college course following the tradition of his scholarly family. However, a visit to the National Futurist School in Aklan introduced and exposed him to the colorful village life in rural Philippines. The fiestas, readings, rituals, and other social practices of the local people. This prompted him to study cultural anthropology, also in University of the Philippines, where the, he came under the total age of Dr. Arsenio Manuel, considered the dean of Philippine anthropology and father of the Philippine folklore. Ayon daw dito, si Ubusan daw ang panganay sa 15 road na para si Ubusan na isang doktor at si Sofia naman ay isang guro sa musika. Siya ay kumuha ng biology sa Sobersidad ng Pilipinas ng kanyang kurso sa kolehiyo. Kasunod ng tradisyon ng kanyang pamilyang scholar, gayon pa man daw, siya, ay daw, siya daw ay nagbisita sa pangistaan sa aklan na nagpakilala at naglantad ng kanyang makulay na buhay na yun sa kanyang ng Pilipinas. Katulad ng mga fiesta, kasalan, ritual at iba pang gawain palipunan ng mga lokal na tao. 
Ito ay dinagtulak sa kanya upang mag-aral ng antropolohiyang pangkultura, gayon paman sa Universidad ng Pilipinas, na kung saan siya ay nasa ilalim ng pamuno ni Dr. Arsenio Manuel na ituturing na dekano ng antropolohiya ng Pilipinas at ama ng alamat ng Pilipinas. It was his stint with the Bayanihan folk dance that Obusan was first exposed to the Philippine critical dance. He worked with Bayanihan first as a researcher and later on as a dancer. Despite not having the classical training, in 1972, armed with his experience from Bayanihan and academic background as an anthropologist, he organized his own folkloric group, the ROFG. Sa kanyang stint sa Bayanihan Folk Dance, si Ubusan daw ang unang nag-expose sa Philippine Critical Dance. Siya daw ay nagtabaho muna sa Bayanihan bilang isang manaliksik at pagkatapos ito ay bilang isang mananayaw din. Sa kabila ng hindi pagkaroon ng klasika na pasasanay, noong 1972, siya daw ay armado ng kanyang kanasan mula sa Bayanihan at akademikong background bilang isang anthropologist. Organisas niya ang kanyang sariling folkloric group and ROFG. In ROFG, Ubusan work hard to present Philippine folk dances in their most authentic form, form costume, movements, music. Among his most memorable choreograph works include Kayao, 1968 and 1974, featuring Cordelaria, Rituals in Dance and Music, Vemus, Abelen, 1998 to 2004, an anthology of the journey of the shepherds in their search for the child Jesus, and then po sa amen, a tablox of the Philippine history set on songs, dance, and drama. Sa ROFG naman, si Ubusan ay sumikap upang itanghal ang mga katutubong sayaw ng Pilipinas sa kailang pinakatunay na anyo. Ito ay ang kasuutan, galaw, musika. Kabilang dito ang kailang pinakatindi, pinakahindi malilimutang kayograph ng mga gawa ay ang kayaw. Ito ay tampok ng mga ritual ng court. Work with Bayanihan first as a researcher and later on as a dancer. Despite not having the classical training, in 1972, Armed with his experience from Peninihan and academic background as an anthropologist, he organized his own folkloric group, the ROFG. Sa kanyang stint sa Peninihan Folk Dance, si Ubusan daw ang unang nag-expose sa Philippine Critical Dance. Siya daw ay nagtabaho muna sa Peninihan bilang isang manaliksik at pagkatapos ito ay bilang isang mananayaw din. Sa kabila ng hindi pagkaroon ng klasika na pasasanay, noong 1972, siya daw ay armado ng kanyang kanasan mula sa Bernihan at akademikong background bilang isang anthropologist. Organisas niya ang kanyang sariling folkloric group and ROFG. In ROFG, Ubusan work hard to present Philippine folk dances in their most authentic form. Form costume, movements, music. Among his most memorable choreograph works include Kayao, 1968 and 1974, featuring Cordelaria, Rituals in Dance and Music, Vemus Abelen, 1998 to 2004, an anthology of the journey of the shepherds in their search for the child Jesus, and then po sa amen, a tablox of the Philippine history set on songs, dance and drama. Sa ROFG naman, si Ubusan ay sumikap upang itanghal ang mga katutubong sayaw ng Pilipinas sa kailang pinakatunay na anyo. Ito ay ang kasuutan, galaw, musika. Kabilang dito ang kanyang pinakatindi, pinakahindi malilimutang kayograph ng mga gawa ay ang kayaw. Ito ay tampok ng mga ritual ng Cordillera sa sayaw at musika. Vamos sa Belen. Ito ay isang antolohiya ng paglalakbay ng mga pastor sa kailang paghanap ng batang si Jesus. At noon po sa amin, ito ay ang tablox ng kasaysayan ng Pilipinas na itinakda ng, sa mga kanta, sayaw at drama. Thank you. Alice Reyes In 2014, Alice Garcia Reyes 1942 became the recipient of National Artist Award for Dance. As a dancer, she started her training in classical ballet at a young age. She also trained under the Bayanihan Philippine National Dance Company, attended center dance in Colorado Spring to pursue modern dance and jazz education and training. 
She also trained under Martha Graham and Merce Cunningham, considered two of the best in modern dance in United States. In 1969, Reyes choreographed Amada, a ballet performance based on Nick Joaquin's novel Summer Solstice. Amada premiered in Culture Center of the Philippines in 1970. As part of Reyes' first dance concert, it was also Reyes who founded CCP's resident dance company now known as Ballet Philippine, which she managed as our art director for 20 years. Reyes introduced many innovations in Philippine modern dance in her choreography. She used classical music for modern dance and rock music for ballet. She collaborated with composer Nonong Pedero in 1972 in staging Tales of Manovo, which was based on the story creation. In 1980, Reyes worked with Ryan Kiabiab and Bienvenido Lombera, National Artist for Literature 2006. For the libretto of Ramahari, based on the Indian epic Ramayana, in this two performance, Reyes ballet dancers shared the stage with the young singers at the time, such as Lea Navarro, Anthony Castello, Celeste Ligaspi, Va- Basil Valdez, Kuli Desma, Leo Valdez, who later made their own mark in original Filipino music in Ramahari. Reyes also danced the part of Sita. Reyes also pioneered intensive summer workshop for performing arts in CCP. Covering dance and theater arts, this became the venue in training dancer under her become world-class performers, developing their ver- versatility in dancing both ballet and modern modern dance. Other notable works by Reyes are at a uh, Maranao Gathering in 1970, Itim Aso in 1971, Bayanihan Remembered in 1987. Good morning everyone, this is my part, formation commonly used in rhythmic activities. The first one is single circle, facing clockwise, and the second one is single circle, partners facing. Ano ba ang pinagkaiba ng first and second? So yung first kasi is facing clockwise lang. Isa lamang. So, petang nito, uh, parang uh, in the terms of clockwise, clockwise yung ano niya, uh, from left uh, left to right. Okay. And then, yung number two, single circle partners facing. So, parang yung clockwise and counterclockwise is magkano kaya nga siya partners. Mapapansin nyo rin dito sa diagram. And then, number three, single circle facing counterclockwise, uh, the opposite of the number one. And number four, single circle facing center. Now, yung, yung mismong, ano, they are facing, not, they are not facing in, in the clockwise or counterclockwise or in their partners. Instead, in single circle facing center is nasa centro sila mismo, nakafocus. Number five, double circle so uh, partners facing clockwise parang same siya sa number one na single circle facing clockwise and then number six double circle facing clockwise as you see here at sa ano so yung both partners is magkara pero they are facing in clockwise also made pwedeng side or magkaharap sila then number seven double Circle partners facing, as you see here, magka, ano, double circle, pero mag, double yung partner, may part, uh, first partner and second partner, magkatabi, pero magka, magkaharap sila. Then, the number eight, the square or quadrille formation. As you see here, yung kanilang, ano, formation is, naka-square or depende ba sa anong laban nila, pwedeng maging rectangle ba, pero, Yun po yung uh, sample dito, square or quadre formation. Number 9, double lines facing front. Number 10, double lines partners facing. 11, scattered formation in pairs. So, you know, as, as you see, yun yung, ano, makikita nyo dito na mag-partners. Uh, o and X. So, partner 1 si O. Partner 2 naman si X. So, scattered formation yun. And then number 12, several lines or long, 
open formation. Then number 13, semicircle or half moon. Uh, that's for it, guys. Thank you so much.